friends, it's Miss Jocelyn at the Lyon Township Public Library. Happy Thanksgiving! It's November, which means it's almost time for a lot of people's favorite holiday when they get to see family, whether it's in person or maybe they're FaceTiming with family if they can't be together. Um, and they get to eat lots of tasty food, all sorts of fun Thanksgiving foods. So I thought today we could read Franklin's Thanksgiving. But before that, why don't we start with The More We Get Together? Are you ready? Okay. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Ready to do it together? Okay. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Give yourselves a hand, friends. Good job. All right. So Franklin's Thanksgiving is a book by Paulette Bourgeois, illustrated by Brenda Clark. And this book is published by Kids Can Press. So we thank you, Kids Can Press, for permission to read this story with all of you today. Here we go. Franklin liked everything about Thanksgiving. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. He liked eating pumpkin pie, pumpkin fly pie, and cranberry jelly. He liked making cornucopias and corn husk dolls. But most of all, he liked having his grandma and grandpa come for dinner. It was the family tradition, and Franklin could hardly wait. A week before Thanksgiving, a postcard arrived from Franklin's grandparents. Oh dear, sighed Franklin's mother. Grandma and Grandpa can't make it back for the holiday. But they have to, cried Franklin. They're always here for Thanksgiving. Franklin's mother gave him a hug. There will still be the four of us, she said. It won't be the same, Franklin grumbled. Over the next few days, Franklin was so busy that he didn't have much time to think about Grandma and Grandpa. He helped his mother pick the apples and make applesauce. He helped his father dig vegetables and store them in the cellar. Franklin and Bear helped Harriet and Bernice pick berries and gather nuts. In the gardens and orchards, forests and fields, everyone was bringing in the harvest. Wow, can you see lots of different foods on this page? I see some berries. I see someone who's collecting acorns. Who's collecting acorns? Let's see. Oh, it's Bear. I see lots of foods over on this page. Does anyone see any vegetables that they like to eat? Mmm, carrots and cabbage, pumpkins, radishes, peppers, so many things. Franklin counted all of the jars and jams and preserves. I think this year was the most bountiful ever, announced his father. We could feed the whole town. I just wish we could feed Grandma and Grandpa, sighed Franklin. His mother agreed. We'll miss having company, she said. At school, Franklin's class made a harvest quilt and learned how the early settlers celebrated Thanksgiving. What are you doing for Thanksgiving, Mr. Owl? asked Franklin. I'll have dinner with my mother, he replied. Our relatives can't visit this year. Ours neither, said Franklin. Then he had an idea. He invited Mr. Owl and his mother for dinner. It's all right with my parents, Franklin explained. They want company. Well, thank you, Franklin, said Mr. Owl. We'd be delighted to come. Franklin smiled. This would be a wonderful surprise for his parents. 
I don't know. Do you think it's ever a good idea to invite someone over without permission first? Maybe not. At home, Franklin's mother looked at the berry pie cooling on the windowsill. She had an idea. She walked over to Bear's house and invited the whole family for Thanksgiving. It will be a wonderful surprise for everyone, she exclaimed. After school, Franklin went home with Moose. That's when he had another idea. It was the Moose family's first Thanksgiving in Woodland. Franklin invited them for dinner. It's all right with my parents, he explained. They want company. We'd be delighted, replied Mrs. Moose. Franklin smiled. His surprise was getting bigger and bigger. On Thanksgiving morning, Franklin got up early to help with dinner. He stirred soup and shucked corn. Then he set the table for nine. Franklin's father counted the place settings. He shook his head and reset the table for five. Franklin's mother looked at the table. She was puzzled, but she added three more place settings. And everyone took turns peeking out the window, watching for the surprise guests. Mr. Owl and his mother were the first to arrive. Surprise, Franklin shouted to his parents. This is a surprise, they exclaimed. Now everyone was surprised. All the guests crowded inside, holding platters and bowls heaped high with food. Franklin and his parents laughed and tried to explain what happened. Well, we sure have plenty to eat, declared Franklin's mother. We just don't have plenty of room. Franklin knew they had a big problem. The Moose family hadn't arrived yet. Franklin looked around. There wasn't one bit of room inside, but outside. Suddenly Franklin knew what to do. Moose and his family arrived as all the others came out the door. Everyone carried food and dishes, tables and chairs. What's going on? asked Moose. We're eating our Thanksgiving dinner in the field, answered Bear. Just like the early settlers, said Franklin. It was a wonderful afternoon. Everyone ate lots of good food and everyone said how thankful they were for good friends and family. Franklin was thankful for three helpings of pumpkin fly pie. I'm eating grandma and grandpa's share, he explained. Soon the sun was setting and it was time to go home. This was a wonderful day, said Franklin's mother. Franklin agreed. Let's do it again next year, he said. Everyone laughed and cheered. Grandma and Grandpa phoned later that night, and Franklin told them all about their new Thanksgiving tradition. They promised that next year they wouldn't miss it for anything. Franklin smiled. He might not get three helpings of pumpkin fly pie next year, but he knew he'd still be thankful. That was a great story about having a Thanksgiving with friends. Miss Jocelyn's back with her fun turkey apron. So how many turkeys do I have here on my apron today? Shall we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Five turkeys. All right. Shall we sing a song about our five turkeys? Okay. Five little turkeys by the barn door. One waddled off. And then there were four. <clears throat> four little turkeys out under the tree. One waddled off. And then there were three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do. One waddled off. And then there were two. Two little turkeys in the noonday sun, one waddled off, and then there was one. One little turkey better run away, soon it will be Thanksgiving Day. No more turkeys. Should we count as we put them back on? Okay. One turkey. Two turkeys. Three turkeys, four turkeys, 
five turkeys. Shall we sing our song again? Okay. Five little turkeys by the barn door, one waddled off and then there were four. Four little turkeys out under the tree, one waddled off and then there were three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do, one waddled off and then there were two. Two little turkeys in the noonday sun, one wandered off and then there was one. One little turkey better run away, soon it will be Thanksgiving Day. Bye bye little turkeys. All right guys, well that was so fun. Would you like to sing Open Shut Them to say goodbye? Okay, so let's stretch out our fingers. Oh, stretch them so wide. Oh, very good. Can we stretch way up high too? Oh, stretch up, touch the sky. Stretch way out sideways and down to our toes. Oh, good job everyone. Okay. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. <laughs> Good job, friends. Let's do it one more time. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open up your little mouth. But do not let them in. <laughs> Good job, friends. Excellent. Well, I hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you guys back here on our Facebook page or our YouTube page every Tuesday. We'll also be uh, back to in-person story times the first week in December. We have um, one week off before Thanksgiving for the uh, used book sale, so stop by if you wanna check out some of the fun used books that are available. Um, and then we have Thanksgiving Day off because we won't be here. The library is closed on Thursday, the Thanksgiving Day. So have a wonderful day, and we will see you guys again soon.